Democrats accuse Trump of threatening democracy, Ronald Reagan's son sets them straight. President Donald Trump has always said that the system was rigged against him from the very start, and he isn't wrong. However, the Democrats, and even rhinos like John McCain, have accused Trump of threatening democracy when he calls the press out on their double standards. Now, President Ronald Reagan's son has come forward to set the record straight. Ronald Reagan's son Michael is a neoconservative editorial writer and not always a big fan of populist Republicans like President Donald Trump. However, he admits that Trump has a point about the swamp being aligned against him. In a new op-ed for Newsmax, Reagan writes that Hillary Clinton donors tried to spend $750,000 to bribe a woman to claim that President Trump had sexually assaulted her before the election. But, when actual victims came forward to reveal that Bill Clinton had harassed them, the media and the left painted them as trashy whores. Back when Bill Clinton was president and female accusers were not to be believed, one of his factotums said after the president had been accused of sexual assault, drag a hundred-dollar bill through a trailer park, you never know what you'll find, Reagan writes. What they were implying with that remark, according to Reagan, is that Paula Jones was not only without credibility but that she was also white trash. Now it seems that Trump's enemies are trolling for cash using the same strategy to get the president, Reagan added. California lawyer Lisa Bloom and her mother Gloria Alred might be characterized, to coin a pun, as skirt chasers since their legal specialty appears to be women allegedly done wrong by various men, added Reagan, who points out that, in 2016, when the presidential campaign was drawing to a close, Bloom was auctioning off women's stories as long as they would go public with an attack on Donald Trump. Reagan recalled that one such woman was New York City makeup artist Jill Harth, a former beauty contestant manager, who filed a sexual harassment lawsuit against Trump in 1997 but then withdrew it under pressure, according to The Hill. When the decades-old suit became known Harth asked Bloom to represent her. It was a very profitable relationship, Reagan further explained. Reagan added that Bloom not only arranged for Harth to be paid for photos, a GoFundMe campaign was also set up, and then Bloom persuaded another Hillary Clinton supporter to pay off the remainder of the mortgage on Harth's Queen's apartment, before it was all over. Another woman who told her story to the Hill went back and forth, is it sexist to call it playing hard to get? With Bloom over a period of weeks. Reagan adds. Bloom's final offer to her from public spirited citizens who just happened to want Hillary to win was a night popping $750,000. The woman turned her down, Reagan continued. The lesson for us here is not negotiate harder when you're trying to sell a story to a publicity mongering lawyer. The lesson is this is just another example of the opposition media's double standard for reporting the news, Reagan wrote. According to Reagan, if the situation was reversed and a Republican was paying women to accuse Hillary Clinton of something like forcing them to hand wash her pantsuits, the uproar would have been immediate, and, the opposition media would have, been, relentless in its pursuit of the donors' names, he added. Reagan also believes that not only would the controversy have been kept boiling for weeks, but disbarment procedures no doubt would have been instituted against the lawyer. However, none of that happened here which should tell us that Trump may have been onto something when he said the system was rigged against him," Reagan concluded. The stories of these bribed Trump accusers are reported news, not an opinion, yet you never hear anything about this. Indeed, it should have been one of the biggest stories of the year that one of the women who accused Trump of sexual assault had her mortgage paid off by a Hillary donor and another was offered three-quarters of a million dollars to come forward. It is also telling that even for that massive sum of money, the woman did not publicly accuse Donald Trump. Clearly, it was about the money for her, not the truth. She had a price tag on her integrity, but no one was willing to pay enough money to buy it from her. As Michael Reagan noted, when the left is willing to literally pay various women to accuse Republicans who they don't like of crimes that were never committed, all the while trashing victims who were brave enough to come forward against Democrats when doing so offered no financial reward, there can be no doubt that the system is rigged. Trump was right, yet again, yet again.